harmonica lesson was created by J.P. Allen. He has shared his instructional harmonica methods with over a thousand people in the last two decades, working at the University of Texas, Austin Community College, at grade schools, and with his private students. He has toured the world singing and playing his original songs, as well as backing up other musicians. Please take your time working through this wealth of material, pausing whenever necessary. And please visit www.freeharmonicalessons.com for discount harmonicas and for free downloads of JP's original music and harmonica instruction. harmonic minor harmonica. I love this. This is so cool and I'm so psyched you decided to check out this lesson because this le this style of harmonica playing sounds nothing like what most people have ever heard produced from the harmonica. So when I play this at parties or weddings, people come up and go, I never knew the harmonica could do that. And it's awesome. Like, So one of my goals for you in this video is that you'll be able to learn this sort of gypsy wedding style type of tune and actually be able to play it at a friend's wedding. That would be a thrill for me to know that you were able to do that and turn your friends on and add to the celebration. Okay, so this particular harmonica is the A harmonic minor. I use Lee Oscar's version of it. I like the way Lee Oscar sets, it, sets up the tuning for this one. So the Lee Oscar, A harmonic minor harp. Now, this is probably a special order Maybe some big music stores might carry it, but, if, but you might need to special order it. And I also have them available at www.freeharmonicalessons.com. And if you haven't yet been to www.freeharmonicalessons.com, I recommend you go there and do all my free lessons and get all the, download all the free videos because all that, that's going to help you enormously. If you haven't yet, if, uh, if this is the first time you ever play harmonica, please do that because it'll help prepare you for this, this lesson. I consider this a level four product so we won't be doing any bending. So it's level four of the, in the J.P. Allen Instructional Harmonica series. We won't be using bending, but we'll be using some very challenging tongue blocking techniques, tongue slapping techniques. We're going to play chords, chordal harmonies, octaves. I'm going to show you how to play the A harmonic minor scale. And then ultimately, I want, to, I want you to get a, a feel for how you could creatively create your own version of the gypsy wedding tune. So let's get started. Before we start the actual lesson, I want to do a quick review of the deep relaxed mouth position. I also call it the deep relaxed embouchure. Okay? And now many of you probably have already checked out www.freeharmonicalessons.com. And if you have done that already and you feel confident with the deep relaxed mouth position, then go ahead and fast forward this clip. That's all we're going to do is review the deep relaxed mouth position. This is so important to me. It's more important than any one single thing that we're going to be learning on this lesson is to get this foundation, this relaxed foundation, because it's going to act as the foundation for all the harmonica playing you do, whether it be blues, folk, rock, country, funk, it doesn't matter. We need this embouchure in place. The thing that gets students stuck more than anything else is a tight embouchure. Okay? When, people, when students tighten their mouth like this, we don't want that. We want a nice deep position. So let me show you how, how we set this up. Put the harmonica deep in your mouth. Push the back of the harmonica up so the holes go down. And let your lower lip unfold. See that? 
Now notice, my lower lip, I'm touching the, in, the internal surface of my lower lip. But the lower lip is shallow on the reed plate. This, this steel, stainless steel is the reed plate. I'm, I'm sorry, it's the cover plate. So see how it's shallow on the cover plate? But I'm touching the inside of my lower lip. Now check out the upper lip. See how nice and deep my upper lip is? So I pull the harmonica out of my mouth, it looks like this. Very relaxed. Sloppy relaxed. <laughs> nice and sloppy. Okay, see the angle? My tongue is relaxed. I'm opening my mouth a little, ah, oh, real, real relaxed, relaxed throat, ah. Oh. So that's the deep, relaxed mouth position. If that's not clear to you, please go to my website, www.freeharmonicalessons.com. We practice this a lot, and harmonica made fun and easy so you don't get stuck. It's my first DVD, and you'll just have a ball with that DVD. With that lesson, you'll be able to do some very simple stuff and sound amazing while you do it. Okay? So please practice this constantly on this lesson. Whatever you do, please, please, please use the deep, relaxed mouth position. Okay? Zen harmonica mainly because we want to get one with the sounds you're creating. Okay, we want to actually experience a sense of oneness, a sense of communion, a sense of connection to the sounds you're making. In other words, what I'd like to relieve you of is sort of the mental striving to get it right. Instead, I'd like you to think about like whatever sound you're creating is the most beautiful sound that can be created. I'm serious about this. So let's start with something very simple. Like let's just do holes one, two, three, four, blow. And when I'm playing those notes, I really want to fully connect my spirit with those notes, the sounds of the notes I'm creating. So we'll try this. Play one, two, three, four, blow, and just start moving the in, opening and closing the inside of your mouth like this. Oh, we, oh, we, oh, we, oh, we is. You can do specifically. You can go oh, we, oh, we, and when you say e, close the mouth down. E, oh, we. Listen how that sounds. So try to take a deep breath in. And then see, create this what I call a flanging sound, like that. And then try it on a long draw. Same thing, holes one, two, three, four at the same time. You can move your tongue forward and back like So what I want you to do with this section, after we do this, I'm going to ask you to pause the tape and just play around with these long blows and long draws and just experiment with these different tonal characteristics and qualities that you can create by changing the shape of your mouth. Okay? So I'll just give you a random example. I'm going to move up and down the harp and I'm just going to sort of have fun getting real zen with the sounds that I'm creating. And so on, I can go on and on for on like this. In fact, 
when I was really training a lot as a harmonica player, I mean, I was really practicing a lot with metronome, I would start every practice session by putting the harmonica deep in my mouth. I'd lay flat on my back. I'd place the harp deep in my mouth using the deep, relaxed mouth position. And I'd just get in a real relaxed space. It really created a lot of peace, a sense of peace and ease in my being. And I'd just play these long draws and long blows, changing the shape of my mouth and seeing what sounds I could create. And mostly, I'm mostly doing chords here, not, sing, not single notes, not one at a time, just playing lots of notes at the same time. And then after doing that kind of playing, if I notice that moisture is starting to build up in my harmonica, then I slap the harmonica down with the holes down, like that, and that will help get the moisture out of the harmonica. And I recommend you do that when you're done playing for with a session. Let's say you're done for the day. Slap your harmonica out and then put the harmonica in your case with the case cracked open. The quicker the harmonica dries, the longer your harmonica is going to last, right? Less oxidation, less rusting, okay? When I play my harmonica, harmonicas a lot, I generally only get about one year of play before they start going out of tune, okay? If you don't play them as often, they can last quite a bit longer than that, okay? So pause the tape now, please, if you would, and or come back to this. You, know, you can move on to the next clip. But, but at, I'm hoping you'll actually take me up on this, getting real zen with this very simple playing. Any sound you create is the most beautiful sound that can be created. No striving. Leave the critic in the other room. Give yourself a, se a place of mental ease and clarity and calm and peace. Okay, <laughs> good luck with that. I hope you enjoy that. I call it circus funeral because it's kind of fun with the with the vibrato. At the same time, it has sort of a haunting quality. So I, I like the name circus funeral. Um, so this is just another fun thing you can play around with, using this this vibrato by by uh, fluttering the wrist. Okay, something that'll be real helpful, and this will help you later too. When I want to slide up and down the harmonica in this way, I want to moisten my lips just enough to lubricate the harmonica but not too much that I'm blowing moisture into the harmonica itself and causing the reeds to choke because the you know the moisture gets stuck in there and clogs the reeds if that happens slap it out okay or if you're playing and you can't stop let's say you're actually playing you know on stage or at a wedding or something or for, for some friends and you can't stop sometimes a real quick suck <laughs> will help clear it real quick. You can actually like, and you can do it to the beat. Let's say you're playing. So you can't, when I clear my harmonica, I clear it right to the beat. So people don't even know that's what I'm doing, that I'm clearing my harp. Okay? So, so, so moisten your lips. Get that deep, relaxed on return position. And then you just open. We have a nice, wide open mouth. So we're playing many notes at the same time, two, three, four notes at the same time. Then just slide up and down the harmonica. Now I'm going to show you when I'm blowing, and I'll, I'll indicate this by when I'm drawing. Blow, draw. Actually stopping my foot now too to keep my I, I created a beat and you can do that create a beat okay that's your circus funeral
When you see me backward arrow, that means draw. Forward arrow means blow. Okay? What we're going to do on this one is a basic rhythm that acts as a wonderful foundation for the, this gypsy style harmonica play. Okay? This, the, this rhythm is in four, four times, so we'll count one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. I wanted to start you, I want to challenge you a little, start you on the fourth beat, okay? So it sounds like this. Listen to it one time and then I'll, then I'll teach you how to do it. One and two and three and. Okay, so let's go over the rhythm together. We say ta ta and what we're going to actually, ultimately we're going to play all over the harmonica, but let's start by just playing holes one and two draw at the same time. So say ta and holes one, two, draw at the same time, twice. And then we say two, six times, playing holes one, two, blow at the same time, like this. Okay? So this is how it sounds with the beat. Watch how I'm going to come in. I'm going to come in early. I'm going to come in on the fourth beat. I'll cue you. Ready? See if you can come in with me. One and two and three and. And notice I'm using my deep relaxed embouchure, right? In some ways, I'd like you to consider that that's more important than this rhythm we're learning. You know what I mean? that learning this technique of the deep relaxed embouchure is more important than this simple pattern. But I promise you, the, the, the deep relaxed embouchure will take you as far as you want to go with the harmonica. This rhythm will only take you a little ways. Okay? So, so now let's pick, let's try it again. Let's do it again, but let's do it a little faster. Ready? One and two and three and... So what you can do now is you can slide around the harmonica, you slide up and down as you're keeping this basic pattern. Okay? So if you want, you can play with me or you can just listen to me do it. Your choice. One and two and three and... Oh, here, one other thing. Use one, two, draw and one, two, blow as a bass. Then slide up the harmonica and you can get some interesting sounding melodies and harmonies. And then slide back to one, two, draw, one, two, blow as your bass. So you keep coming back to the bass. So watch how I do that. I'll keep coming back to the bass. One and two and three and... came back to the bass. Okay, now we're going to do a takeoff of that same pattern. It's basically the same thing, but instead of doing ta ta twice on the draw, we're just going to say ta once on the draw and two six times on the blow. So ta, that's right, once on the draw and six times on the blow. So it sounds like this. Let me show it, play it for you once. One and two and three and... <laughs> Let's try it together. You say ta on holes one, two, draw at the same time. And then two, six times on holes one, two, blow at the same time.
Okay, let's try it to get. To, let's try it together. It comes in on the fourth beat again. Okay, I'll cue you. One and two and three and. Now I can do the same thing playing all over the harmonica. So if you'd like, pause the tape and try that. Try playing that pattern all over the harmonica. It, or we can move on to the next pattern, which is we're going to say ta on holes one, two, three, draw. And then two on holes three, four, five, blow. So here's holes three, four, five, blow. Sounds like this. One and two and three and. Let's try it together. One and two and three and. Okay. Okay, now we're going to do the same rhythm as the last clip, but in this one we're going to use the coughing technique. The coughing technique is awesome for creating a very smooth accent. And the way you do it is you actually cough using your throat vocal cords. So it's like a... Uh, 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 uh. Now this again, this is one of these things I explore in depth. Go to www.freeharmonicalessons.com Check out I covered a lot in my bending CD. Uh, we won't be, do, be doing bending at all in this lesson, but I also cover that in the bending lesson as well. Okay, so now in this, with this one, we're going to do coughs, and we're going to cough nine. Actually, we're going to cough six times. So it's a little cough. And then as time goes on, you're going to create silent coughs, like it's like a like a click, it's almost like a throat click. And then you just say, you do it one time on the draw. So six times on the blow. Okay, my mouth is very relaxed. My mouth is very open too, like, oh, oh. Throat is relaxed and open. Okay, let's try it on the harmonica, playing on holes one, two, and three at the same time. We do it six times, so let's do that first. And then one time on the suck. Now notice how much more smooth the cough is than the T sound. Here's the T sound. I like T too, I'm just, the cough is very smooth. Here's the T sound on two. Here's the cough. Big difference, right? Here's T, cough. Cough going, oh, like this, oh, 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 oh. Okay, so that's the coughing technique.
Okay, now we're going to do a little gypsy waltz. By the way, you might notice me doing this hand technique. In this lesson, I'm not going to review hand technique. This is on many of my other instructional lessons, and it's also you can download the, my free videos that teach hand technique in depth. Four different, actually five different types of hand techniques. www.freeharmonicalessons.com and download those free videos if you want to learn how to use the hand technique. Okay. So this rhythm is a gypsy rhythm, and it's in waltz time. One, two, three, two, two, three, three, two, three, four, two. Three. Notice there's a strong accent on the one. Watch. One, two, three, two, two. This accent. Three, two, three, four, two. That accent on the first of each triplet. One, two, three. Okay. So that's how we're going to do it when we play as well. It's the way this rhythm works is we say two nine times on the blow. Now these brackets you see right there, that means that you're going to accent that first blow note. So it's w accent the one, two, three, then accent the two right there. Two, two, three. Accent the three, two, three. And then we're going to go to the draw, and you say ta on the draw, and you accent this one here. Ta, two, three. Okay? So it's so it's on the blow we say two and let's start with one two blow playing holes one two blow at the same time two 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 ta 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 blow 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 draw 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 blow 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 Blow, draw, draw, draw. Sounds like this. Listen one time and then I'll count you and we'll do it together. Okay? Now, I'll count you in and I'll cue you. I'll make it real clear when it's time to come in. Ready? One, two, three, two, two, three, three. Three, two, three, four, two, three. Now you can end on a long blow like that. And you go, you long blow on oo, and then say two at the end to create a nice little ending. Okay, let's try it again. Let's go a little faster this time, and this time play at any holes you want. You can slide around. I'll slide around and play any holes I like. If you want, you can just stay on holes one, two blow for now, or you can try to slide up and down the harmonica. You can keep coming back to holes one, two, blow, and one, two, draw, and use those notes as your bass to work off of it and keep coming back to the bass. Here we go. One, two, three, two, two, three, three, two, three, four, two, three. Long blow, ooh, and then two. Okay, so you can practice that. So now what I want to do, if that was tricky for you, I want to give you a specific idea you can do to play notes higher than one, two, blow. You can try hole six and seven blow, saying two, playing hole six and seven blow at the same time, and you play that nine times on the blow again, okay, accenting the first of each triplet. So you for accent each one. And then you say ta on hole six seven draw and you accent this first one. That's a tricky one to accent sometimes. So if, so you you know, be patient with that that accent there. If it's not a completely strong accent, don't worry about it. Okay? 
So let's try it. Six, seven, blow. Well, let's do it together. One, two, three, two, two, three, three, two, three, four, two, three. Gypsy Locomotion. Okay, on this one, we're back in 4-4 four, four time. 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and. And the way this one works is we're going to say 2 on holes 1, 2, blow. And the way this one works is the accents here, so we say 2 accenting the first beat, saying 2. Then this is a softer beat, on saying 2 on holes 1, 2, blow. And we accent this one, play a little louder on 2 on holes 1, 2, blow. And now this pattern we say ta on holes one, two, draw quickly like this. Yeah, let's try that again. Ta. Okay, it sounds like this. Let me play it for you. It'd probably be a little less confusing if I just play it for you. One and two and three and four and So why don't you try with me, ready? One and two and three and four and Okay, now we're going to learn a second pattern, and then we're going to put them both together. This pattern is almost the same as the first one, but instead we'll just do a long draw right here. Instead of doing that suck, blow, suck, we're going to just do one long draw saying ta on holes one, two, draw like this. Let's try it together. One and two and three and four and Long blow, and they're quick. So it's a long blow on two, two. Okay, now let's put this, those two patterns together. This is going to be a lot to follow, but follow with me. I'm going to just count you in. Let's just go for it. One, and two, and... Remember, oh, and one thing to remind you, I'm just playing holes one and two blow at the same time, and one, two, draw at the same time for all of these notes, right? We just stay on that. We're staying on the bass, on our one, two, blow, one, two, draw bass. One, and two, and three, and four, and...
So what you can do is you can pause the tape and you can practice speeding up. If I kind of lost you there at the end, you can practice. So pause the tape, practice that, see how fast you can play it, keeping as relaxed as possible with your mouth, your tongue, and your throat. As relaxed as possible. Sloppy relaxed. Octaves. I love this technique. I love learning about it and I still love using it. Okay, there's different ways to play octaves on different harmonicas and also depending on where you are in the harmonica. But let's start with a simple example. One place to find an octave on, the, on our A harmonic, harmonica is to play holes one and hole four. And we need to exclude holes two and three. So how do we do that? You take the tip of your tongue and you actually block the undesired holes. In other words, I take the tip of my tongue and I block the two and three hole. And then I play holes one and four on either side of my mouth. See my tongue? So so what you can do is you can aim, notice how here's the holes, here's hole one, here's hole two, here's hole three, and here's hole four. Right here between holes two and three is this, uh, is this pillar of, a, of the comb. I aim my tongue for that, that bar right there. Okay? So aim your tongue for that bar. You can feel it with the tip of your tongue. Use the tip of your tongue and then let your tongue spread out to block holes two and three. Okay? So let's try that. Still the deep relaxed embouchure, right? Nice big relaxed deep embouchure. Okay? Now, when I lift my tongue, I'll play holes one, two, three, four, right? So this is the tip of my tongue. If I go like this, it means I'm putting the tip of my tongue down. And if I go like this, I'm pulling it off, okay? Try that with me. Okay, now if, if you need to practice that, pause the tape and practice that. If you're getting the knack of this, let's move on and do an actual rhythm using this octaving technique. Okay? So it starts with the tongue down, playing holes one and four, and then lifting the tongue and then playing holes one, two, three, and four. Right here where it says one dash four, that means to play holes one, two, three, and four at the same time. This means to play ho only holes one and four and exclude holes two and, th two and three. And here as well, you'll play holes one, two, three, and four on the draw, okay? So we're, we start by doing this first pattern three times and then, then we do this once. Sounds like this. L listen to it one time and you'll get the knack of it. Getting that? Let's try it together. One and two and three and four and. Okay, that's octaving. We'll be using a little more of that later. Okay, 
Okay, in this rhythm, we're going to do the same thing we did last time, but we're going to invert the tongue movement. We're going to play one, one through four below, and then slap the tongue on to play only holes one and four. And we do that three times, so it sounds like this. And then you play one, two, three, four, draw. Remember, this means to play holes one, two, three, and four all at the same time. Okay? So I'm so happy you're working on this. What, this really helped my, my harmonica rhythm playing tremendously. Being able to use my tongue as a rhythm instrument pulsing on and off the harmonica. So I wanna, we're going to exercise the tongue on, on a few ways in this lesson. And I'm really happy. I think you see this will pay off in your other styles of harmonica playing as well. Okay, let's play the rhythm together. One and two and three and four and So you can practice that faster. One and two and three and four and Okay, let's move on to the next. block single note. So now I want to share with you how to play the lip block single note. If you if you already know how to do this, if you've been to my website freeharmonicalessons.com and you feel confident with this, feel free to move on. Okay, so this is how the lip block single note works. If I want to play the four blow single note, what I'll do is I'll bury the harmonica with that same deep relaxed embouchure that we worked on earlier. Notice the angle of the harp. Notice my unfolded lower lip. And then take a closer look at how my upper lip is deep on the harmonica as we did before. And my lower lip is unfolded. Okay, now, the way this works is this side of my lower lip, this side, is blocking the three hole. And this side's blocking the five hole. So the three and the five are being blocked. And four is left unobstructed right up the center. The four the four holes playing right through the center here, and these sides of my lower lips are blocking the undesired holes. Okay? Sometimes students have trouble because they're, they're putting the harmonica a tad too deep into their lower lip like this, and then they get double notes. So you do still want to be contacting the inner tender surface of your lower lip, but you can bring it a little more shallow if that helps, it helps you to get the single note, watch. You can also try using your fingers to coax your lower lip together. And another trick you can try is you can angle the harmonica so much that it blocks all the holes. Now my lower lip's blocking all the holes. And then slightly Bring the harmonica up until the one four blow leaks through or bleeds through. Okay, so that's my brief overview of the lip block single note. So now let's use the lip block single note to, to play the A harmonic minor scale. And if you're needing more help with the lip lock single note, please go to my website. It's very clearly explained there, www.freeharmonicalessons.com. Now 
I want to play the A harmonic minor scale with the lip blocked single note. Starts on four blow. And you can play with me if you'd like. Four blow. Four draw. Five blow. Five draw. Six blow. Six draw. Seven draw. Seven blow. Now we repeat seven blow on the way back down. Seven draw. Six draw. Six blow. Five draw. Five blow. Four draw. Four blow. And then notice that when we when you start again, you repeat and you'll start with four blow again. So notice how you repeat what I call the bookend notes. Four blow and four blow repeated, as well as seven blow. When you come back down, you repeat the seven blow. So, so one wonderful way to practice the scales is using a metronome. I have this metronome set on 69 beats per minute, and we can do it together playing one note per beat, okay? Now, let's try it together, ready? One and two and three and four, four blow. A great metronome game you can do to practice to improve your playing of the scale is you play it once. When you play it perfectly, you turn the metronome up one click. And you do it again, up and down. And you turn it up one click. And then you take it to the point where you make two consecutive mistakes in a row. Like if you get so fast, you make mistakes. At that point, back it back down again. Go a little slower. And then try again at that speed. One of the things that, a theory that sort of makes a lot of sense to me is that if you play so fast that you're making mistakes frequently, then you're actually beginning to learn your mistakes. So the idea is that if you practice slowly and you play accurately slowly and slowly pick up the tempo, then you'll actually learn how to play fast more quickly because you won't be learning your mistakes along the way. Okay? So that's a theory I've used in playing scales and, and things of this nature, and you can see if that helps you out. Okay? One other thing I want to point out to you is that when I'm playing the scale, I've got a nice wide open mouth like this. Oh, oh. Okay? Oh, oh, oh. And then when I repeat that seven blow note, then I use the coughing technique. So when I come back down, when I, when I repeat the four blow or repeat the seven blow, I use the coughing technique. Cough. Cough again on four blow. Cough. Okay. Rewind the tape if you need to practice again the A harmonic minor scale. The tongue blocked single note. Okay, it's a little different than the lip block single note. The name actually gives away the difference. Now we're working on the tongue block single note. It means that the tongue is going to block the undesired holes. With the lip block single note that we did previously, the lip blocks the undesired holes. Okay? I consider the tongue block single note quite a bit more challenging than the lip block single note, especially when it comes to learning how to bend. Okay? For me, learning how to bend using the tongue block single note was quite challenging. Now we're not going to cover that in this lesson, but the reason I wanted to mention that to you 
is if you haven't yet learned how to bend, I recommend you use the lip blocked single note to start with and learn how to bend using the lip block single note that we did in the previous clips. And then and then once you get learn how to bend with the lip block single note, then you can try learning how to bend with the tongue block single note. I just want to give you one little trick, plant a seed with you that you can use later even if you don't work on this now. I found that learning how to bend with the tongue block single note, it was real important to have the harmonica positioned off the side of my mouth. I don't know if you can see that. It's got a nice talky quality. Can you see the angle? See how I'm kind of angled to the side? Now, because we're not bending, we can actually play a little more straight ahead with this if you want. Okay, and the way it works is, let's say I want to play four blow single note. I'm going to put my tongue down over holes one, two, and three. And then leave four unobstructed right on the side here. Between the sides of my, the crease, the corner of my mouth and the tongue is where I'll get that nice single note right here off the side. You can see right here how I'm clearing out the side, right there to where the single note's going to play. Okay? So if I wanted to play five blow single note, I just slide up, I keep my tongue down and slide up. Tongue is down the whole time. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is I want to show you how to use the playing the A harmonic minor scale using the tongue block single note. Now you probably would want to pause the tape right now and just practice that alone, what I just showed you alone. And then when you start getting the knack of this, which could take weeks, months, I mean it could take a little while, okay, so, so please take your time, be patient. I also wanted to point out when when the when I played the tongue block single note, I still have this nice open, deep, relaxed mouth positioning. My mouth is still open and relaxed. Okay. No tightening of my lips. Harmonica is nice and deep and relaxed. Like that. Nice and sloppy. Sloppy. So now let's play the A harmonic minor scale using the tongue blocked single note. Okay, now we'll play the A harmonic minor scale with the tongue blocked single note, keeping the tongue down the entire time so we just get one clear solid single note after the other. I'll do my best. It's tricky for me to do this while pointing, but here we go. Four blow, four draw, five blow, five draw, six blow, six draw, seven draw, seven blow, then repeat seven blow, seven draw, six draw, six blow, Five draw, five blow, four draw, four blow. Okay, so I highly recommend you can work on this over weeks and months. Playing the A harmonic minor scale up and down, keeping your tongue down. Okay, like this. Okay, now we're going to be using tongue pulls and tongue slaps. And this is something that's used often in blues. It's a fantastic technique. I'm really excited you're going to get to learn it using the A harmonic minor harmonica, which is a little more forgiving than actually learning it in a blues context. 
Okay, so our tongue is really getting a rhythmic workout here, and and our tongue is actually going to be slapping on, and pulling off, and and little by little, I'm hoping that your tongue will learn to play like a rhythm instrument, slapping and pulling off the off the harmonica. I consider this challenging. It took me. It, I remember when I first worked on it, I found it very challenging to coordinate my tongue to do these, to, to actually play rhythmically with my tongue like that. Okay, so the way this one starts is we start with four blow using the tongue blocked single note. So my tongue is down covering holes one, two, three, and I'm playing sing the, the four blow single note off the right side of the harp. And then I pull my tongue off and play holes one, two, three, four at the same time. And I do that three times. Four blow single note with the tongue block. Pull the tongue off. Okay, let's try that together. One and two and three and four and Pretty tricky, huh? Now let's do the inversion of this, okay? So this next one, we're going to start, we're going to challenge our tongue to be able to do lots of different things here. So we're going to challenge our tongue now to start up, playing holes one, two, three, four at the same time, and then slap the tongue down to play a tongue block single note on the four blow right here. That's a tongue block single note. And remember, I, I like to... I like to use the side of my tongue and, and even play a little off the side of my mouth. Not too much, but just a little off. You can do it straight ahead too, by the way. When you get into blues playing and you get into bending, having it off the side helps, helps me a lot. And um, I don't know, I think other harmonica players may be able to play straight up the middle, but it helps me to push the harp off to the side to play the bends using a tongue block single note. We're not going to cover that on this video. That's pretty tricky to do. Uh, I encourage you to work on it. Having your tongue down and playing a bend while your tongue's down. Very tough. Very, very challenging. Okay, so let's play this rhythm together. One through four blow. Slap the tongue down. Then one, two, three, four, suck. Start on one, two, three, four, blow, and slap the tongue down. Again. Again. You heard I slid up there. So you can now start sliding up and see if you can play the, the, this patterns sliding up and playing higher notes. Okay, take your time and practice your tongue pulls and tongue slaps. Okay, 16th note triplets using the coughing technique. So it's like this. Or oh. Try that. Start slow. Okay, this might take time to learn how to play 16th notes with the coughing technique. So what you can do is you can say ooh, 
on the blow, and let's just start on holes one, two, blow. And the way we count sixteenth notes is one E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a. But instead of playing the four E and a, we're going to do that on the draw, saying ah on the draw. It sounds like this. You'll understand better when I play it. Watch. Saying ooh, oh, or oh, 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 oh. Okay. Another way, if, if you're not used to the counting on one E and uh, two E and uh, three, that's actually the way that j I hear drummers counting sixteenth notes. So I really like counting sixteenth notes that way. You can count them fast that way. Watch. One E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a one E and a two E and a three E and a four. Notice that there's four beats per each quarter note. The quarter notes are on the snap. One E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a So you can practice playing your 16th note triplets, and you can slide up the harmonic and back down again. Okay? Practice your 16th note triplets using the coughing technique. Playing the gypsy tune with lip-blocked single notes. This is one of my big goals in this lesson, was to share this with you. So I'm really excited we're working on this. We're going to work through this slowly, note by note, on the first pass. I'm going, to be, I'm going to be sharing with you some little subtleties about what I'm doing. Before we get started, I wanted to show you these asterisks down here. This means to play faster. So when you see this, we're going to play 3-4 blow a little more rapidly. It's a slide. You slide from three blow to four blow like this. Let's, you, let me try do it once and you try it. You try it. Okay? And of course, with, with this entire lesson, we're using the Lee Oscar A harmonic minor harp. Okay? Let's start at the top. It starts on three blow using your lip block single note. Four blow, three blow, four blow, four draw, five blow, four blow, five blow, five draw, six blow. Now, notice we repeat a second six blow. Anytime we repeat the same note two or more times, we're going to use the coughing technique. So it's like a, oh, oh, right? You remember. Six draw, six blow. Five blow twice with the coughing technique. Five draw. Six blow. Seven blow. Coughing technique. Six draw. Six blow. Coughing technique on two five blows. Five draw. Six blow. Now notice that six blow was held out a little longer than the other notes. Three blow. Four blow. 
three blow, four blow, four draw, five blow, four blow, five blow, five draw, six blow, hold out a little longer, and then cough. Six draw, six blow, cough, cough the two five blows, five draw, six blow, five draw, five blow, five, four draw, four blow. Remember the asterisk means speed up. Try that again. And then four draw, four blow. And if you want, you can say, hey! Okay? So let's take it from the top again. I'm going to play through it slowly. Slowly, so you can play along. I'm still going to be pointing to the numbers. We're going to play slowly. I'm going to play in time, okay? And so just, you can remember, when we repeat the same note two or more times, you'll use the coughing technique. And of course, when you see the asterisk, you speed up. Okay. Here we go, starting on three blow. One and two and three and four. Okay, how is that? Now rewind the tape and review that if you, if you need more practice. Now I'm going to play it one more time, just a tad faster, okay? Here we go. One, and two, and three, and four. Play it. I'm going to play it fast for you one time. You can listen along, okay? Or you can try playing along. Your choice. Here it goes. One and two and three and four. <laughs> Okay, hope you're doing well with that. Let's move on to the next clip. Okay, I am so excited about all the stuff you're learning in this lesson. This is called split intervals often. I think of them as harmonies. 
and octaves we'll be doing. Okay, so the way this works is we, I use my tongue in the center to block a, a note in the middle like we did before when we were working on octaves, but now we're going to do it on different intervals. So let's, I want to go through all the harmonies one by one. So the first harmony we can do is to just play one, two, blow. That's a harmony, okay? So any two notes next to one another, anywhere on the harmonica, will create some kind of harmonic interval, okay? The next interval I want to work on is playing holes one and three blow at the same time. Now this is often more tricky for people than playing holes one four blow because it requires using the tip of your tongue to actually block the undesired hole. Okay? So I, 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 I play one holes one, two, and three at the same time and then I stick the tip of my tongue in the center to cover only the two hole. Okay? What I do that helps for me with this is I aim the tip of my tongue against the top of the hole. Somehow by doing that it helps me not to, to only cover one hole as opposed to covering two or more holes, which is what I found a lot of, I found a lot of students find this tricky to cover only one hole with the very tip of their tongue. So the tip of my tongue is like slightly pointed upward and I touch the top part of the hole. <laughs> top part of the hole. Okay, now we can do that all over the harmonica. You can play this, and I, another name I like to use for this is a one note spread, because we're spreading out over one note. We're blocking one note in, in the middle, so I call it a one note spread, and so we can do this one note spread all over the harmonica. Isn't that wonderful? Wonderful combination of called perfect fifth intervals, major sixth, minor sixth, these wonderful harmonic inter intervals when you do this, this one note spread. Okay? The next one we want to do is to play holes one and four blow at the same time. And this is going to be an octave. Okay? And we talked about earlier in the lesson, we talked about how that works. You just stick your tongue up the middle so it covers holes two and three unobstructed to hold, covers holes two and three, and then one and four are left unobstructed on the sides. And you can slide up and play two, five, three, six, four, seven. Okay? The next interval you can practice is a three note spread. The last one would be called a two note spread, right? Now, this would be a three note spread because we're blocking three notes in the middle. Okay, so I'm actually going to have my tongue spread out over, th over the two hole, the three hole, and the four hole. I'll block the two hole, the three hole, and the four hole, and I'll have one and five on the sides of my mouth. Sounds like this. Here's the octave. One four. And we go wider to one five. Sounds like that. Now this, now this three note spread can be important because up on the upper register on the draw notes, that's where you'll find your octave. Okay, so you find some octaves using the three note spread on the draw part of the upper register. The upper register means the high notes of the harmonica. Okay. The next one you could do would be a 1-6, it would be a 4 note spread. So starting on 1-4, 1-5, 1-6. Now you can see I'm really starting to get wide here. And believe it or not, you can even do 1-7. Sometimes, sometimes I can. I'm not really doing very well at it right now. So those are the intervals 
The one that I want to focus your attention on is the one note spread. That was the one where we played holes one and three. And I want to practice using that over the entire Gypsy song in the next progression. Okay, now I'm going to really challenge you, okay? This again, you'll probably need to practice that one note spread for quite a while before you'll be able to do this, but this is something you can work toward over time, okay? What we're going to do is we're going to play the one note spread over the entire gypsy song. So when you see the three hole over here, okay, this is, this is the same as the same graphic we put up before. When you see the three hole, you're going to play actually holes one and three at the same time. Okay? When you see the four hole, you're going to play actually holes two and four at the same time. Because it's a one note spread. You subtract two from each number, right? So for the three hole, we're going to play holes one, three blow, two, four blow, two, four draw, three, five blow, right? Two, four blow, you with me? Three, five blow, four, six blow, okay? So here's how it sounds. I'm actually going to play in time very slowly, okay? So if you've developed this technique, you hopefully you'll be able to play along with me and keep up. If you haven't developed this technique, then come back to it. Okay, when, you, when you're ready. Okay, here we go. One, and two, and three, and four. Now I want, I want you to be, be able to just hear me. I'm not going to put the graphics up this time. I, I want you to be able to hear me play it in time, okay? One and two. And you can, if you really got it, you can try to stick with me here, but or just listen. One and two and three and four. <laughs> Okay, take your time with that one. Okay, now we're going to play the gypsy tune using tongue slaps. I consider this stuff quite challenging. Definitely advanced, intermediate, leaning on advanced type of technique. That'll take time and patience to, to develop. So let's review real quick again the tongue slap. If it, it, with the gypsy tune, the first note's three blow. So I'm going to play holes one, two, and three at the same time, and then slap my tongue down so that I produce only the three hole. Okay, so it goes holes one, two, three, and then hole three blow by slapping my tongue down. Okay, now so. So the way, remember, the way we would do tongue slaps is I put my tongue down over holes one, two, covering the undesired holes, and then I play the single note off the right side of my mouth. Okay, the same thing's going to go when we play the next note, four blow. I'm going to slap my tongue down so that just the four blow plays off the side of my mouth. And notice my tongue's down covering holes one, two, three. Okay? 
So now let's go through the entire tune using tongue slaps on every hole. Now I probably wouldn't do this to play, I wouldn't do an entire rendition of the song with constant tongue slaps like this. In fact, what I do is I mix up three techniques that we're going to review all three of them. Okay? But first, let's try playing this as an exercise. Let's try playing through the entire gypsy tune using tongue slaps. Let's take it real slow. Here we go. So that 3-4 draw that's fast is pretty tricky to do the quick t two quick tongue slaps and I wouldn't actually do that when I'm playing the tune. <laughs> now let me play the tune again for you in time using tongue slaps, okay? And this time I won't point, okay? So I can concentrate on my playing. Here we go. play it one more time for you. This time I'm not going to put the numbers up. This time we're just going to play it. I'm going to just play it in time a little faster so you can hear it. Practice the gypsy tune using tongue slaps. Now let's move on to the next technique. Okay, we're now we're going to spice up the gypsy tune. And first I want to show you how to do what I call the gypsy rhythm pattern. And we're going to use the gypsy rhythm pattern over the gypsy tune. So we're getting into the real good stuff. We're getting toward the close of this lesson and I want to really start challenging you here with mixing up three different techniques that'll embellish the gypsy tune. So first let's learn this, this, this pattern. We're going to tongue slap the four blow. So again, that means I'm going to play holes one, two, three, four and then slap on my tongue to play only four blow. And then I let my tongue up and play holes one, two, three, four blow. And I do that three times. Let's, let's do all three together. Tongue slap on the four blow again. Tongue slap four draw. Then we tongue slap five blow. Then two, two through five, two, three, four, five blow. And we do that three times. So let's try that three times together, starting with five blow. The tongue slap on five blow. Then we tongue slap five blow, four draw, and then back to the beginning. So let me show you how this sounds in time. One and two and three and four and
Come on in. And we can end on a tongue slap four below. So I'll only play this faster for you so you can hear how it sounds. One and two and three and four and Okay, so please f get yourself to a place where you feel really comfortable and confident with this before you move on to this next pattern. Okay, so now here's the next pattern. We're going to tongue slap, four blow, and then un unslap, pull our tongue up on holes one, two, three, four. Basically, this is the same pattern as the last pattern, but we don't play this section three times, and we don't play this section three times that we do. So, so it's a little more challenging because we're going to be moving around a little more. So it sounds like this. Tongue slap on four blow. One, two, three, four blow. Tongue slap four blow. Tongue slap four draw. Tongue slap five blow. Two, two, three, four, five blow. Tongue slap five blow. Tongue slap four draw. Okay, here's how it sounds in time. Let's do it together. One and two and three and four and. Okay, and I'll do it a little faster for you. One and two and three and four and. Okay, I call that the gypsy pattern, okay, the gypsy rhythm pattern. So when later I'll be referring to the gypsy rhythm pattern, you'll know what I mean. Okay, now we're going to use the gypsy rhythm pattern for the beginning of the gypsy tune. So as you'll see, this starts with basically the same pattern we just did. We start though with, we start with a quick tongue slap on three blow. Then we, then this starts the pattern we just did. Slip, tongue slap, four blow. Now I'm going to say lift the tongue here. And you'll know when I say lift the tongue, that means play holes one, two, three, four, blow. S slap, four blow. Slap, four draw. Slap, five blow. Lift the tongue. Slap, five blow. Slap, five draw. Six blow. Lift the tongue, so you play holes three, four, five, six blow. And by the way, when you see these chords, it doesn't have to be exactly three, four, five, six blow. It could be only five. The main thing is that you get the six blow note stays in there. Other than that, the lower notes can change. You could play only five, six blow. That would sound fine, or four, five, six blow. Or you can play two, three, four, five, six blow. So I'm going to let you use your own creativity on how that works, okay? So we lift the tongue, then we slap on six blow, slap on six draw, tongue slap six blow, and then lift the tongue. Okay, so that's the beginning of the gypsy tune. You'll hear it as I play it in time. Let's do it real slow. You can either listen to me or play along. It's up to you. One and two and three and four. Okay, let's try it again, a little faster. One and two and three and four. Isn't that cool? 
Okay, so now let me play it for you a little faster even. Uh, you can hear the, now how this is a gypsy tune, how we're using this rhythm pattern. Okay, so what I want to do is I want to introduce you to like some of these creative concepts and I want you to actually start plugging in and applying the way you use these creative concepts to come up with your own style of the gypsy tune. I do it different every time, okay? So that way if you, if you sort of have these techniques available to you, you will do that too. You'll play it different every time and that keeps the life and the fun in it, okay? So, so here, let me do it one more time for you a little faster and you can either listen or play along, your choice. Let's try. Let's start on the this next graphic here coming up. Starting on three blow one and two and three and four. And then so on. Now for the rest of the for the next big section of the gypsy tune, I'd use a tongue slap a lot. The tongue slap technique where we're just slapping all the single notes. Okay, so that's something you could do. Now the other thing you could do to add this, to add to the gypsy tune is to spice up is you can add harmonies to it. So we go. Remember we did that before in the beginning, playing the gypsy tune with harmonies. Those are the harmonies. So what I want you to do is randomly mix and match these three techniques, adding harmonies adding just tongue slapping the single notes and then using the gypsy rhythm pattern I just showed you okay and so that's how you'll do so now what I want to do is I want to play a few renditions of me improvising over the gypsy tune and what I'll be doing is mixing and mixing and matching randomly using those three techniques okay at this point to be able to do this and for you to be able to actually start adding your own creativity of course you'll want to memorize the gypsy tune so you haven't yet memorized it, go back to one of the earlier sections, memorize it. The other thing you could do is you could download from my website, www.freeharmonicalessons.com and go to the supplemental materials and then you can download a PDF of the Gypsy Tune. Or of course you could handwrite it out yourself. You could follow the screen and handwrite it out, whatever is easiest for you. Okay, so here's three renditions of the Gypsy Tune using those three techniques. using the tongue split which is the harmonies like starting with one instead of just three blow starting with one three blow then two four blow oh and there's another technique you might want to add too actually is you could add you can add octaves that'll be so to add octaves that'll be a two note spread where you'd play for instance when we got to the four blow hole the second note of the song you play holes one and four blow at the same time so it sounds like this, I could do holes one three blow and then holes one four blow and you could slap your tongue in the middle the way we did earlier in the, in the video tongue slap the octave, you can slap on the octave like this and that's a wonderful technique too that I use for this as well okay here we go JP's renditions of the Gypsy Tune. I'm going to play it real slow a few times so you can maybe use your ear and catch on to what I'm doing and then I'll play it fast a few times to see how nice and spicy this can get. Okay, here we go. At the end there I use the octaves. I go that's tongue slapping one four blow. Lift the tongue. Tongue slap one four blow. One four draw. One four blow. So it sounds like this. Now if you've gotten this far in the video, 
I'm going to assume you're going to start learning some of this stuff by ear in the way me and most harmonica players have had to learn. And the, and the tradition of blues is learning by ear. In a way, this is great for you because what it's going to force you to do also is to use your own creativity to emulate the sounds I use. And then you'll get your own flavor and your own sound. There's, for me, there's so much more life in that than, than learning exactly what I do in sort of a sterile form. Okay? So let me do it for you one more time here. I'm going to do it a little faster for you. One and two and three and four. So you noticed, toward the end, I started going off the theme, right? And then I'd bring, in the th bring the theme back in. So I was sort of improvising around the theme, so I'd encourage you to do that as well. You can use a lot of those rhythm patterns we did earlier in the video as ways you can play, out, play a rhythm in between, like... And you see, I'm back in the tune there. You see how I started with the rhythm pattern and then I kind of moved back into the tune. So that's what I'd encourage you to do as well. Like move off the theme of the melody and then come back to it. Interweave in rhythm concepts and the melody. Okay? So I'm so excited you joined me. that You made it this far in the video I'm thrilled about. And so take your time. This is something we'll develop over years, over wedding after wedding. I hope you get to play this at weddings. I've played this at probably many weddings, five to ten weddings. Each time I do it, it's different. Each As the years go on, it changes and gets better. So I had a great time sharing this, this gypsy tune with you. And good luck. And I hope that you come back and visit me again soon. To contact JP with any questions or suggestions, please go to www.freeharmonicalessons.com. Also, check out his site for free downloads of his original music, additional instructional materials, and discount harmonicas and accessories.